Uh, my name is Olga Nero. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I have two birds, a blue and gold macaw and an African gray. And we were here today to graduate my African gray. His name is Harvey. The last time you saw me on the channel, that was when I was graduating my Blue and Gold Macaw, Charlie, which was two years ago in Nevada. After graduating Charlie, I continued taking him on trips, hanging out with friends. I met a lot of friends through this free flyer group, in particular Shanice and Mika because they're closest to me. And pretty much every week we go flying Thousand Oaks, our birds. I could actually say they're my best friends right now not only they're cool people to go out and hike and free fly birds but to hang out with and they're the kindest most supporting people of all i know i'm very thankful to bird tricks and this club that i could find such good friends and they're friends for life i gotta tell you for sure I had the, also an African Grey who I lost and I got Harvey, my new African Grey and my goal was to also get him to free fly with us and give him the whole wild bird experience <laughs> <laughs> that we're here to do as much as we can while they're our pets at the same time. I decided to do the course all over again with an African Grey because I've heard that they're very skittish and anxious birds. They're high risk, high flight risk. It's harder to find them if they fly away. Also, I had an instance with uh, this African Grey where my husband opened up a door and he flew outside. I was lucky because it was a miracle. I opened up my front door from the other side of my house and he was sitting right there but it never happens guys so it was a miracle and African Grey uh, flies away which um, going back to my first African Grey Lucy that's how I lost her they're very quiet uh, there is no contact call and they're small birds they're gray they're not colorful it's it's hard to see them with a naked eye even with their red tail and that was the reason why I wanted to free fly and do the course again additionally there is no way to do even with my experience of training the bird to free fly already my blue and gold macaw it's a totally different uh, type of a drill with an african gray and i realized also if i would train him on my own i would not have group support i needed and uh, this great event that we're here for where a lot of people, uh, not only new graduates, but a lot of free flyers uh, with uh, experienced birds came over to support and my friends are Shanice and Mika here all the way. So in case if something happens, everyone is here to uh, help out, cover up and um, be there for you. So you absolutely need that support. Sorry. Uh, it was very different from Charlie. Stick him up. Good job. Stick him up. Good job. Harvey is, uh, you know, it was a long journey. I got him very young and he was very, very anxious bird where he was afraid of new people, new objects. He couldn't fly. This bird couldn't aim to perch. He was afraid to go on flat surface. He was afraid of everything. Besides that, he got very sick for six months and he was not eating, he was not drinking, he was hospitalized. And I've been told that he's not gonna make it and everyone was surprised that he actually did. How's it going, Olga? So far, so good. He just likes to chill on my shoulder, I think. <laughs> I was hoping that he was gonna wanna fly when all the birds were flying, but he's like, no. He's kind of watching things. He's taking everything in. Yeah. yeah. A good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. You know, with Charlie, when he came to me, he was already harness trained. He was recall trained 
Harvey didn't do any of that and I was almost kind of giving up and I thought well he just doesn't know how to fly he he'll never do recall he looks at me like I what what do you want from me <laughs> he didn't know how to step up uh, he didn't know treats he would I would show him a fruit or different kinds of nut and he would just look at me like what is this is this food or what is this so it was really 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 difficult <laughs> it's like, am I supposed to eat that? If you want to free fly your bird, you cannot do it alone. You need to have a very experienced trainer by your side. Do not do it alone. I want to start with um, a couple of experienced macaws first. Okay. I'm going to clear the air for people kind of needing a refresher. The reason we do that is help try to get rid of any potential predators that are in the area. If there are hawks and falcons that are um, territorial, we'll know right away with the macaws mm -hmm. in a relatively safe manner. Whereas with the smaller birds, we get exponentially more danger. So the reason why um, I would go only to bird tricks is because they're, um, they're trained, not, <laughs> they're not trained, they train me. They have experience with all kinds of birds, African greys in particular, and they have their own African grey, Cressy, who they trained. I approached uh, a couple of local uh, trainers who were closer to me about an, training African grey, Lucy, who I lost, but they wouldn't even take me as a client because they only specialize in bigger birds like macaws, uh, who are easier to train to begin with. Uh, are you a good bird? <laughs> He's like, I want to play! Right, so make sure you're at a high spot for him. Yeah, right there, you're looking alright. Good bird! So, on day one, when I took Harvey out, I was at the same time confident in my bird and uncertain of what's going to happen because it's you know, he, he did great during our training session at home and we took him to other places uh, that were inside, not outside. And uh, with all the background and anxiety I had about <laughs> him being sick and teaching him to fly and the little bit of wind, how he's going to do about that. I had all those mixed feelings, but he did great and surprised us all. And there you go. He's a free flyer now. So right now we'll, we'll treat that and we'll refine it and clean it up as we go. But like he's coming back to our flock, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's totally acceptable in my book for now. Eventually, no, but... <laughs> Working with Kim was a pleasure. She was very direct. She was straightforward. She was short sure to the point. She was uh, caring and knew when to hold your hand, but also kick you in the butt at the same time, which, you know, I, I'll admit I, I need it. You know, whenever I call her, reach out to her, she was, she was always there for me. It's not my first time working with Dave. He's an expert for sure in what he's doing. He's also very direct, short sure to the point. I'm the one who does all the talking and sometimes he needs to cut me off and he knows how to do it without offending me. <laughs> he's fun at the same time. What do you have there? We have two African birds. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, it's great, it's, it's a club. Oh my god, they look identical. Like yeah. me, right? They're both blue and yellow. Yeah, right? he actually looks, uh, Charlie kind of right. looks the same size right. now. Ready to go? One, two, two three. three, go! <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, hi, hi, hi. Charlie screams like a girl. <laughs> Sometimes you flybys over your head, you just, you just, you just, Oh, that is so pretty. I would love to come on the future trips. For many people who don't know me, I have a three-year-old daughter, so it's a little bit complicates things and makes traveling, especially with a car, a little bit more difficult. And I took her here on this trip. She did great. So gives me confidence that we'll be coming again many many more times 
My favorite moment of the trip was to see Harvey up there in the air, taking on that wind and uh, making all his way out to me, and that's special. Oh, catch you! Yeah. I leave Papa hat. You yeah. just called your husband? Yes. <laughs> 20 feet away to tell him to turn the car off? I, I yelled and he didn't hear. <laughs> so I had to call him. <laughs> hey, I just want to ask if you could turn the truck back on. Ha! <laughs> Thanks.